here to enjoy the show. The War Department wanted me close to the action. Can't get closer than this unless I grab boots and a rifle. Mm, wouldn't go with the skirt. <laughs> what do they say so far? Joe, you've been brilliant. Talk of the town in D.C., apparently. Uh, Miss Garner, I, I must tell you that I object formally to your being here. I'm sorry you feel that way, but you're not the commanding officer here, are you? It's okay, Campbell. Uh, whatever happened to that famous British sense of hospitality, huh? She's a distraction. Sure, a distraction that helped guarantee that Joe here would be in charge of the operation. And let's not forget, if it wasn't for her, we'd be collecting dust in Italy. Right. Fine. Well, let's get back to the briefing session then, shall we? Mm -hmm. As I was explaining before your <coughs> interruption, General Weatherby is under pressure at Carentan. The Jerrys have brought in their own paras. What about the reports that the Germans are getting mechanized units as reinforcements? Very unlikely. General Weatherby, under duress, um, tends to overstate the danger he's in. And that's the only reason you refuse his request for support? Not at all. In fact, young lady, in order for mechanized troops to arrive now, they would have had to receive orders before we were sighted. Before the landing. Sir, we have enemy vehicles approaching Chef Dupont. Now that we have an airstrip, we can send a recon plane. Your orders, General? Air recon has a major advantage over ground recon. Its line of sight isn't hampered by obstacles. artillery. They'll wipe out the town. Joe, you need to get some fighter bombers up there ASAP to intercept them. There is something very wrong here. Enemy fighters incoming. We need to send our fighters up. I'm so glad you put us at ease about the enemy reinforcements, Campbell. Your objective is to take Valogne. It's the last stop before Cherbourg. What am I up against? The survivors of the 919th. They pull together grenadiers, anti-tank reinforcements, and anti-aircraft units into a Kampfgruppe to hold the city outskirts. What's the situation inland? The same setup as around Valogne, but of lesser strength. And here, along the coast? Another Kampfgruppe, primarily armor, Enemy air support? According to our sources, none. I wouldn't be so sure. 
The Krauts have hidden their planes on small airstrips and fields. Where they have been hammered by our bombers for weeks. The Resistance has confirmed that. Right. Like when they confirmed the absence of the 17th SS, Campbell? Listen, you little... Why? You have nothing to say. General, it's your decision. But be aware that the enemy may have more than you think. Our main objective is to take out the German base. My reports show that the enemy still has a fair number of tanks. I'd say we'll need air support to counter that. We have found a them. What the hell out there? The key to controlling the skies is to use each plane for what it does best. Sheridan, you could rely on fighter bombers a bit more to neutralize enemy tanks. Fighter bombers incoming. Stukas. Amazing for an army that had no more planes, eh, Campbell? Listen here. Our intelligence services were categorically clear on this one. They're an easy scapegoat. Some intel officer you are, supporting the invasion of Europe with outdated and inaccurate reports. Building deployment complete. Our units are under fire. Fighters and fighter bombers need to have their ground targets identified. You must send recon with them. Jerry has a number of AA batteries. We'll have to destroy them if we want any sort of air presence.
Fighters and fighter bombers need to have their ground targets identified. You must send recon with them. We have to destroy Jerry's heavy fortification. We have a German ground attack incoming, General. Remember Italy, Sheridan. Enough bombers against the secret bunker will wipe it off the map. We've lost a building. Plane is low on fuel and returning to base. Sir. The Germans have some armored recon, sir. Careful of those, Sheridan. They're no match for attack, but very dangerous for infantry, even in a forest. Unit reports damage, sir. The Germans have placed a recon aircraft over the area, sir. Bad news, huh? Our troops can't hide as long as that's up there. Unit under fire. Reports confirmed. Target destroyed. Head to the new position. could get troops close to their HQ without being seen by moving them through the swamps. Unit reports heavy fire. Enemy on the two. I know we're on five. Squad we commander, got the handle of the position. I'm out of here. Receiving report. Our unit has been destroyed. Fire. 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 Fire.
heavy losses, sir. Sir, the Krauts have brought tank destroyers up to the line. Damn, Mason. Don't let them make contact with your armor, Joe. General, the Germans are launching an offensive along the coast. Excellent. The road is open to take Boulogne. Excellent, General. The pilots send their thanks. Heading back to base for a punishment. 
Rookies are training, they'll be ready soon. Your progress is amazing, General. Keep moving like that. Look, the Germans have secondary HQs. If we take them, we can build up starting from those positions. Sir, engineers report that they can now set up secondary HQs wherever you want them. They're like regular HQs for gathering supplies or constructing buildings, but they're much less resistant. Sustained 
Congratulations, General. Valonia has been liberated.